Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to present the best CRM software for e-commerce. I'm someone who was working with uh, e-commerce store for like about four months to set up all the processes and I think that having automations, effective processes and systems is the best thing you can do for your business. I'm going to show you the CRM softwares uh, in which you can combine it with help desk, with invoicing and uh, other things like you will enjoy this. I really believe that this video will give you value. So without further ado, let's start. The first one I prepared for you is a Zoho. Zoho, maybe you heard about it, offers Zoho One plan details. And what does it mean? Is that in Zoho One, you're going to have whole ecosystem, Zoho CRM with marketing, with support, productivity, finance, HR and business processes. And why is it really good? Let me explain. So let's say that you are going to get order, right? You are going to get an order. Uh, then you will automatically add to CRM the client. Then by automation, you're going to send him through Zoho, send an email. And then, but then you can do the automation that the two weeks later, you are going to send him an email uh, to review. And also you're going to send him email to buy another product. When you're going to send him the email, you are going to straight away send him through Zoho Books, the invoice. And then you are going to, what you can do next, then you can add a task to do something with a client, or, or you can just like, just end the whole process for this client. And then you will have client in a help desk that when he's going to write something straight away, you will know what order is it about. So that's what you can do everything in Zoho. And this is, is going to save you so much time because imagine that, okay, for Zoho one, what you would pay, it's 30 euro monthly or 35 bucks per month, right? 35 euro. Okay. Imagine if you would have to do everything with every single different program, online books, QuickBooks, sorry, QuickBooks, Monday.com is a productivity tool. Then you have some kind of invoicing system that you need, then another CRM. And right now you would have six different programs that you have to pay like 200 euro, $200, and it wouldn't be effective at all. So Zoho, I recommend Zoho, not only just for the CRM, but everything that you can do with it. And let me show you how the CRM looks like, access Zoho CRM. You can have leads here. You can have contacts with really great reporting quotes, sales orders, purchase orders, invoices, and it's like really simple, really intuitive what you can do with it. So Zoho one is the first one I recommend. And I think it's going to be like great choice if you choose it. The next one I prepared for you is a HubSpot. HubSpot got huge advantage that it's completely for free. They give a free plan, which can be enough if you're starting out with your store and you don't need really huge automations. I would go with a HubSpot. If you come here, you see the CRM sales free account and you have most of the things in the free with the leads contact and also uh, with deals but then you have starter which is a little bit expensive but then you have professional which is quite expensive like the marketing automation for professional uh, costs 800 euros so we can use it and this is like ah see marketing automa automation up to 300 workflows in professional version that you have to have 800 euro and that's that's like quite a lot to pay because those 800 euro you can spend on marketing on facebook ads google ads not actually investing into hubspot right so but other than that if you're starting out with your e-commerce i would choose hubspot if you want to go for free you can simply connect it with contacts another thing that you're gonna have also marketing and also sales and all for tickets for free too so you can combine it, let's say, with conversation that someone's going to write you something on Facebook Messenger and then you would have it in your service in tickets. Or you can have it on your website and it will be directly implemented into HubSpot. Then you have sales here as a deals, forecast and task that will be need to do. So you don't need to use Trello or ClickUp, Asana. You're going to have the tasks right here, what needs to be done. So. Then you have landing pages and email and ads, what you can use too. So uh, because of this, HubSpot is amazing, but it's, the pricing plans are expensive. And that's pretty much it. It's free. So I would recommend if you're starting out, want free, use HubSpot. The next one is Agile CRM. 
Agile CRM, I really like that you can again combine it with marketing and with a service segment. So sales, contacts, companies, deals, documents, inbox, marketing, campaigns, trigger, email templates, video forms, landing pages, web rules. So again, you're going to get a sales, then you're going to add it to marketing, and then you can have also service with it as a help desk, knowledge base, live chat that you can add to your website, everything, right? And again, it's quite simple. I just click here, add a contact name, title, company name and everything. You have deals here. So Agile CRM is another one that I would recommend for you to use. And if you're going to use it, you're not going to make a mistake. Now, the next one I prepared for you is Freshworks. And you're going to see it here that you got Fresh Team here, Freshworks CRM, Fresh Desk. Uh, if, if you're looking for just, just CRM and just Fresh Desk, uh, I mean like Help Desk, I would combine these two. Fresh Desk is one of the best in a market right now. Next to it is a Zendesk, I think. I really believe in that. So if you're looking for uh, just the CRM and combine with the Help Desk, I would definitely go with the Freshworks and you're not going to make a mistake in that too. And, and the last one I prepared for you is a Keep. Keep is a higher version of Zoho. If you're gonna like, if Zoho is not going to be enough, if you choose Zoho, what you can do is to try Keep. Keep would be top notch too for you uh, that you can use. And uh, what I really like is that the pricing is a little bit more expensive comparing to Zoho, understandable. But you have also everything here with the payments, with the CRM, with the sales pipeline, with the reporting analytics, appointments, email marketing, you get everything covered. So these one, two, three, four, I just five I talked to you about, I recommend for you to use. And if you have any questions, guys, ask me down below in comments. I'm really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and support. But most important to summarize this whole video, Zoho Books is a light version of Keep. You can do everything there and you're going to have whole e-commerce covered from help desk, productivity tool, and you're going to save money because the Zoho one is quite cheap. Then you have HubSpot and HubSpot I would recommend if you want to go free. If you're just starting out, you got two, three, five orders a week. Not much. You don't want to have, you don't need to have advanced automations, advanced email marketing. Okay, HubSpot is amazing. Agile CRM is great too, but it's lacking the invoicing system, same at the HubSpot. And if you like it, maybe you will enjoy to use it. And the last one is FreshBooks, like not the last one, but right before Keep. Freshbooks and Freshworks CRM. It's also really great with the web forms, with the chat campaigns, what you can actually do here and how you can work with CRM. And the last one is Keep. Keep is a top notch. It's a winner out of all, but it's quite expensive. But when you're going to use it, you're going to have covered everything. But you need to keep in mind that with Keep, you're going to, it's going to actually take a little bit of time to optimize everything and to set up everything. And that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and support. But most importantly, focus on generating revenue. You don't like don't think about 30 minutes what kind of Instagram ad you want, Instagram story you want to add. You need to like consulting.com is a wonderful website and they teach it rightly. I really believe in that. So you want to do the action. When you're gonna do the action, you will have result so let's say that i'm going to do instagram story what kind of result is going to give me you need to analyze the result so you go here and you're going to do the action facebook ad what kind of result is going to give me based on the result i'm going to analyze it and then i'm going to do the action again do this all the time and you will win you will dominate the market no one is doing this and um, yeah, I really believe so you don't want to focus on adding Instagram posts if it doesn't give any value Like if Instagram doesn't give any value to your business, don't use it Or what you can do use buffer or something to automate the social Scheduling tool so you can schedule what is going to actually happen, right? So let's say that I'm going to schedule on Facebook and I can add Instagram into it And that's what you can do actually so action you're gonna have a result Analyze the result and go action again and you will completely dominate the market like it's in the inevitable or how it, how is the word i don't know how to say it but it's like everyone is just stops here because they got analyzed paralyzation 
and then they never have result and even when they have the result they don't know how to analyze it and they don't understand that they can they stop on analyzation for two years and they don't do the action again so this is pretty much it thank you very much guys for watching if you have any questions guys ask me down in the comments have a great day and goodbye see ya